Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, also known as La Gioconda, is the most famous painting in the world. The theft of this fabulous object in 1911 created a media sensation. The police were as baffled as everyone else. It was thought that modernist enemies of traditional art must be involved in the avant-garde poet and playwright. Guillaume Apollinaire was arrested in September and questioned for a week before being released. Pablo Picasso was the next prominent suspect, but there was no evidence against him either. Two years went by, before the true culprit was discovered, an Italian petty criminal called Vincenzo Perugia, who had moved to Paris in 1908, and worked at the Louvre for a time. He went to the gallery in the white smock that, all the employees there wore and hid until it closed for the night when he removed the Mona Lisa from its frame. When the gallery reopened, he walked unobtrusively out with the painting under his smock, attracting no attention, and took it to his lodgings in Paris. In 1913, the thief was arrested, and the painting was recovered. Many Italians welcomed the masterpiece home, some of them wept with joy. The great painting was duly returned to the Louvre, and hung there safely and enigmatically ever since. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.